Hello my friends, it's Danish here. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. We're back with some Super Mario Galaxy. And when we left off, we just beat Mega Leg. Oh, wrong button. We just beat Mega Leg and now we've got access to the fountain. Right, right. Just, let me just turn that. There we go. Sorry, just had the volume a little bit too loud in my ears. I think it's uh, the Space Junk Galaxy we got next. Uh, nice, we've got a couple. Um, oh, actually, we'll do Rolling Green. Let's get this done now. Oh, and it's okay, off center again. Okay, I'm not certain if, given that we're on the Switch, if this is also going to be done by motion. Knowing Nintendo, it probably is. Right, so what have we got? Oh, and it's Billboard! Okay, get on top of the ball. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's motion. Hmm... So, okay, I suppose I was just messing messing around a little bit. Yep, and do to jump, and that's about... Okay, there we go. I know I said there's no use in coins, but I just... Again, it just kind of feels like a almost like a compulsion to just collect everything you find, even if it has absolutely no use. As, at least outside of getting lives. Uh, problem is, I can't point my marker on the screen, can I? Ooh, I could do that, actually. I could recenter it. Oops. I could just recenter more or less like this. I can just do that. Oh, that's cheating. That's cheating, and I love it. There we go. Can't do that with the Wii, can you? Okay, let's just fly forward. I can't believe I didn't think of that before. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, the one time I actually wanted to aim for it, I just completely missed. So I just focus on moving and then immediately get most of them. Right, come on, can we move? It's just a tiny bit slanted and apparently that's enough to stop me dead. I'm gonna have to remember to do that next time. There's like at least two others. And I know there's one later level with one of um, it's like a more lava-based level, and then there's one of the three green launch stars. New galaxy and right, we'll see. I'm pretty sure that's just another uh, bonus galaxy. No, no, it's not. It's a proper level. It's ooh, battle rock. Okay. Right. Yeah, well, um, like I said, we're probably gonna hundred percent um this. Still not sure whether or not I'm gonna do. A Luigi run through. Honestly, probably not. Again, it's just the same game, but Luigi. You run a bit faster, you jump a bit higher. That's pretty much it. Yes. 
Must be, I've always liked this music track in particular. Alright, just gotta get the uh, uh, star pieces or star shards. I can't remember what I've already forgotten what they call them. That's the thing with the smaller planets, the controls just keep... Oh, I missed one. It sometimes just feels like the controls change a little bit. You have to keep adapting. I'm making it sound a lot more complicated than it really is. It's just me being... Me being a little bit crap. Let's be honest. Come on, can I just... There we go, thank you. No, no, I've missed... Okay, I kind of screwed that up a little bit. Health back. And I immediately lose it again. And I would have lost another bit of health if I didn't have invincibility frames. Hey! That's all the toads. Lovely shows up only after we do all the work. I keep forgetting about the cooldown your spin has. I'm gonna be honest, I thought this would have been a bit this level was gonna be a little bit longer. I completely forgot how short this particular star is. Well, that took, what, less than five? We're not, oh, wow, we're not even ten minutes in. Honestly, trying to cut down, you know, say, 30 seconds for the start of the recording. So, what, we're, like, just over eight and a half minutes in or something? I thought, by the time we get this star, we'd at least be past the ten minute mark. I nearly ran off the edge like a moron. That's 13, I think. Oh, and we're back to Rosalina. Apparently. Oh, there's a prankster comet. I thought they'd have showed up a little bit later. Oh, yes, we do want to save. The red one, so that's the speedy comet, so it's essentially just a speed run to beat Dino Piranha. It always gives you this one first, every single time. Dino Piranha speed run. Oh, so you think you, you'd hear the phrase "I'll oh, speed run," you get a bit tense. You think, "Oh god, this is going to be pretty difficult." This is honestly quite easy. It's only difficult if you're just, you know, messing around like an idiot. 
So basically, if you're me. There we go, straight up. No, 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 no. It's four, and where's the last one? Oh, it's still in the middle. Fine, there we go, done. Unfortunately, you're probably never going to see me doing any speedruns anytime soon. Like I've said before, I'm pretty good, but I'm not that good. destroy a chain chomp with this I can I mean I would imagine so I'm not sure why else it would be there to be fair <laughs> on the back swing I was gonna say my aim is awful but apparently I I'm better on the backswing. Come on, there we go. This goes... I'm pretty sure this just goes straight over to him, doesn't it? Yep, here we go. At least the time of freezes on cutscenes. That's one. Oh, I got blocked by the bloody... I was focused so much on trying to sidestep him and get behind him, I completely missed the... the bloody crystal. And I missed! Twice. There we go, got him. Okay, yeah, time still go time still ticks when even when the boss is beaten. But there we go, pranks to the comet, done. Okay, I would have expected at least another hungry Luma to show up. Right, back to space junk. Finish those three stars off, and then we'll get um, Battle Rock done. I'm pretty sure Battle Rock has a, um, a purple coin star. Either that or one of the other ones that's similar to it. Camella's airship attack. Okay. Have they trapped a Goomba? Just the perfect position for him to be stepped on.
Okay, I thought I had to go the other way. Never mind. I'm pretty sure there isn't like a hidden star here, so I know going off if I just ignore. If I just focus on going the intended path, I'm not really going to miss anything significant. Much as I I've always understood the um, the exploration aspect of a lot of games, I've always hated it when you've got a game and you've got a and so there's, there's a direction you gotta go, and then there's a spot where you can go either way, but you don't know which way is the right way. See, I'm fine with split directions, as long as I know which way I'm supposed to go and which way is the distraction. But again, that's kind of more of a personal preference than anything else. Oh, what do we have here? It's... Wait, where are we going? Oh, there's just a stash of star bits. You. That's one, and he respawns right here. And I screwed up. Ooh, red shell. Okay, that looked like it was directly on target. Double life shroom. And problem solved. Again, unfortunately this um this shares the tradition of honestly ridiculously easy boss fights. Especially considering you can just spin and grab the shell. Even before the spell lands, you just spin. See, just like that. It's ridiculously easy. And Kamex are gone. Done. You see what I mean? Again, I suppose I have to keep reminding myself that, uh, you know, Mario isn't exactly designed for, you know, the hardcore audience. You know, it, it's not exactly got the same intended audience as, say, you know, competitive Call of Duty or Counter Strike. The latter of which I've still never played before. Never played Counter Strike. Just never appealed to me. I mean, it's not that I don't like FPSs. There's a fair few FPSs. I mean, oh, there's a comet. Oh, oh, and we've unlocked the, and we've unlocked the boss fight. Sorry, hang on. I kind of accidentally tugged on one of my wires. To... That's not me. It's a small room. But there's a lot of wires. Oh, and we have we have mail. Ah, yeah, this is. Yeah, she has five one-ups. Where is she getting these when she's locked up? Well, I mean, we know where she is, which kind of also begs the question, one, where is she getting the one-ups? Two, how is she managing to sneak so many one-ups in? Cosmic Comet, yeah, this is the one where we got to race the Cosmic Mario. How has she managed to sneak all these, you know, to smuggle all of them into a mail to, to send in a letter? Three, given where she is... How is she able to send an, a letter 
confidence that it will get where it's supposed to be in the first place. Is there some sort of galactic, you know, universal mailing system? Ah, oh, I screwed that up. I know there's supposed to be a way that you can actually, um... You can actually get a head start, but I can't... I know it involves you crouching before the race starts. I think you've got to hit B right as it hits go. I just kind of messed the timing up. Simple enough. Okay. That's... Oh, no, we're on the wrong spot. Yeah, because it's the terrace. It's the fountain we want. We still haven't even unlocked the fifth galaxy in the fountain yet. And we've already got the boss ready. Kinga, what a quick start, I'm just thinking. I mean, we started with 11, I'm pretty sure. And we've got a speed comet here. So wait, where do we... Right, yeah, we're starting at the beginning. I know I was going to say where are we starting, but I'm pretty sure there's a couple of speed runs, or there's at least one where it starts you like halfway through the level. I'm trying not to mess this up this time. Right, starships. If only there was a way I could jump to the star from here. If I could stop spinning in circles. Right, can I actually jump all the way? No, I can't. I was hoping I could at least close enough distance to skip straight to this one. No, you don't. No, try not to get... I was just about to say I'll try not to get hit by the flippy spider again, and I immediately do so. You know, I just thought, that's not how gravity works. It's not like sudden, because we're now in space. The toad ship suddenly has its own gravitational pull. I don't think that's how gravity works. I'm not exactly a scientist. But I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. Oh, I nearly ran off. I think I'll probably mean I'd have to start all the way from the beginning. That's the one thing about these um, 
comet stars, if you mess up, no matter how far you got, there's no checkpoints. So I suppose, I, I mean, that's where the additional challenge is. You cut, you, it needs to be... I mean, I would say... I, mean, I wouldn't say, exactly say you need a flawless run, because then there'd be a lot less window for error. But at the very least, you need to be good at what you're doing. There you go. That kind of shows how fast the Star Wars to begin with. It's something that you can, you can speed run in less than three minutes. No, oh, pointer disappeared again. Okay, can we actually finish Space Junk now? Karen Tox's Tangled Web. My idea, this is probably the more, one of the more forgetful quote-unquote bosses. I'm still not even sure I'd consider it a boss. It, I mean, you could probably class it as a boss, but like I said, ridiculously forgettable. I don't know why, I think I'm still in the speedrun mindset. I just, because I just skipped, yeah, I just skipped a ton of star bits that I probably needed. That's fine, that's fine, no big deal. I mean, how many do you want? Probably like 50. Yeah, 50. I doubt I'll be able to get all the star bits I need right here. I mean, I can certainly try, but it would be a hell of a stretch. Oh! You little rat! Thinking I might just barely squeeze by. That's fine. I think I actually can do it. Hang on. Yeah, there's one more. Because then there's this here that has at least five. Fifty-two. Okay. Given how many I missed, I didn't think I'd be able to do it. And Yoshi head. Uh, it's just... Beat all the Goombas. Oh, they don't even drop star bits. I missed. I don't know how I missed that, but I did. There's still two more over here. Three more over here. Oh god, if I end up dying to these Goombas. There we go. That would have been a highly, highly humiliating defeat. There we go, Secret Star. Yeah. 
Oh, new galaxy. That's okay. Final galaxy in the fountain. And that is Hurry Scurry Galaxy. I'll right, we'll do the last one to space junk. Oh, there's the Yoshi head still there. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I just thought, I think these speedy comets is probably my first, um, my first exposure to even the concept of speedruns. Which is weird given how um, given how lenient they are. I mean I would maybe say um, the races in from Mario 64 also count, but I don't think so, just because you you are racing against somebody. But when it comes to just the idea Oh no of course no it's Crash Bandicoot. That's that was my first um, proper speedrun exposure. Well, I certainly never did, did never did very well on them. At least not until recently. Off you go. <laughs> oh, he still makes it. It doesn't help that sound there it made whenever we you kind of brush your cursor over that thing. That's the sound of the tail jump from Gex. If you listen carefully. That is the same sound. That's really all I can think of now. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to shoot you in. Or you're just going to whack your head and not do anything. That's one. Nice. I'm pretty sure you only have to do the back. Yeah, it's just the back. The one's... On the side, it just kind of stop him from hitting you. That's two and three. There we go. Okay, that was my own fault. Oh, that's bad. Could do with that, thanks. There we go, right. Oh wow, that still counts. I was just in a very unfortunate position there. And I missed. Oh, okay, that's the second one. And there's a third. And suddenly he just goes flying. Okay, I think actually that's um, Space Jump Galaxy finished. Hungry Luma. Okay, so yeah, I'm pretty sure there's still something else then. Surprise! A secret star plus a comet star. 
Unless maybe there's a Luigi star? I forget. Alright, how many do you want? 400, you greedy little rat. Pod Galaxy. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. I have a lot of grey star bits on the top right there. Yes. I thought I screwed that. The timing. Ooh, that was a bit too close. Right. Honestly, this is not a bad. I would say, actually, I, I would say it's not a bad place to farm star bits, but it's not really that many. Why would you leave, why would you make the coin a riskier grab than the one-up? Oh, yes, got it. No, I didn't want to do that. Nice. Alright, one more. Hang on, I wasn't really confident about the timing. And final star. Boom! Done. Okay, fair dues. Nine stars. In less than 40 minutes. Okay, honestly, actually, I think that's a pretty good time to leave it now, because, yeah, we're on about 38 minutes now, I think. So, yeah, I think that's a good time to stop. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Leave a like, leave a favourite, and if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I would very much appreciate it. Also, uh, follow me on Twitter. Not Twitter, sorry. Twitch. I haven't used Twitter in, like, over, over five years now. I think I did have a Twitter and made, made like, had like two tweets. That's about it. But yeah, follow me on Twitch at Danish here. I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I am still currently streaming Monster Hunter. Again, to be perfectly honest, I'm still kind of focusing on trying to get all the get you know proper dedicated builds for all the weapons. Of course, you, you want you want the proper skills when you're using the weapons. I mean, you want some guard for lance. You want horn maestro for hunting horn, and so forth. But yeah, check me out on there. I will be streaming Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at 7pm UK time. So hopefully I will see some of you there. And until next time everybody, take care. Danish out. <laughs>